Yes, hello everybody. I have been walking around and now I just thought I would try and make myself look like I was a contemplative sort of academic writing with my pen on my very hipster notebook. Very nice. Good. This, of course, is Poganothra squirosa, the herringbone grass. Not particularly interesting in and of itself, but of course, it is a home. As are most things out here, homes for various creatures. This one is a spider's home, and this spider, which I shall now try and show you without shaking too much. Not yet, hang on a second. Let's just try and focus in on this spider. There it is, I'm finding it now. Come on, man, I've just seen you. I've just seen the spider in here, everybody. And yet now I cannot find, there it is. <laughs> Let's look now. And all you can see there are the beautiful, beautiful hanging bits of dew, which I think is rather stunning. And then underneath that, protected by the sort of, I suppose, intricate lattice work of silk, which has kept the water off its back, you can see the hairs of the resident spider here. And what this resident spider has been after, I don't really know. Or what it's going to do during the day, I'm not sure. But I suspect what its general purpose is, or, generous mo or general modus operandi is, is to wait for ants to come scuttling up to the top of the stalk here, and then it will grab them. And I just think, that, you know, if you go out in the day, at, you know, on a misty morning like this, what happens is all of these little spider webs will catch the mist as it blows over them. And suddenly you realize that you are surrounded by thousands and thousands and thousands of spiders. And of course, most people would be utterly terrified by the thought that there are more spiders around them than there are uh, people in many respects. But most of them completely, completely harmless to us. And most of them, like this one, were it not for the mist, would be completely invisible. Now, I wonder if we might trouble Alice to take us across to the dam cam, where Azumi 